Father died. Leave an old leather bag. He opened it. There's $150,000 in it. And there was a note. It says give the money to someone else. Isn't it a joyous occasion? But he's got a heart. To find out, Sam came to the address on the note. Just met a mother and son. And they live in the door number 58 on the note. He's out there spying on women. Thought this woman might be his father's mistress. The woman got a phone call. The expression became solemn. Then she went downstairs, looking for the newspaper. Tear up the news of Sam's father's death. Turn around and go out. I don't know where to drive. Sam followed closely behind, only to see the woman enter a church. Sam found a seat in the back row. This is an opportunity to talk. The woman raised her hand. He mounted the platform. Take the newspaper. It says, Sam's father has not yet received the credit and prestige he deserves. Just walk away. Leave a wife and a child. It's official. I don't exist. I can't even think the uh, editors of the LA Times are even bigger pricks than my dad was. It turned out that this woman was the daughter of the late father, but all these years, his father never mentioned it. The rally is over. Sam made an offer, but he didn't identify himself. This is the first time for the two of them to communicate in so many years. Sam came home, opened the purse. He told his girlfriend about it. The girl thought her mother should know about it, but he tried to hide it. Leave the money. The girlfriend is unbelievable. His girlfriend packed her bags and left. Sam went through a period of depression. He started stalking his nephew into a video store. The nephew slipped a CD into his backpack. Sam couldn't look at it now. Tell him not to steal. He didn't know this little guy had a temper. Tell him to mind his own business. Sam didn't speak. He just picked up a few more. Paid for him. Take this little nephew home. Sam also learned that her sister worked in a bar. She turned to the bar. Watch his sister greet the guests with a smile. A reluctant looking sister with her back turned. Sam smiled with understanding. When the bar closes, she met her sister, facing the man who need again. She thought that Sam might be up to something. Can I get you something that they sell here? Can I get you something that they sell here? No, 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 no. Look, look, I, I swear to you on my life, I am not and will never hit on you, ever. Wow, thank you. His sister took off her boots, feet free in a flash. As a single mother, it's the only job she can do to make a living. Sam made a deliberate reference to his father, trying to figure out what their relationship is. His sister was a little upset. He was abandoned by his father when he was a child. His sister didn't want to talk. Off work with the kids. Back home, Sam found his nephew's backpack in the back seat. He found a book in it. It's a children's book about overcoming anxiety and depression. Sam used to work for a sales company, and he could be sued for his own fault. Father passed away. He just went back home. He packed the leather inside to get out of here. The money was enough for him to live in style for a while. But looking at his nephew's backpack, he's still soft. Little boy threw a lump of sodium into the swimming pool. The next second, it explodes. The tiles are falling apart. The boy was therefore dismissed from the school. This is for a single mother, is a bad thing. She pleaded with the headmaster, give him another chance, but the principal is determined. I, mean, I don't see what more there is to talk about, and uh, I have another meeting if you don't mind. So there's some exit papers I need you to sign. Where did Josh get the sodium? Obviously the science lab. Oh, okay, so just so I don't misunderstand. Is that the only explosive material you leave lying around for students to play with? Don't try to shift the blame to his teacher. Where did he learn it would explode in water? I don't care for your tone. Your school's recklessness nearly killed my son. Good thing he figured it out before he lost an eye or a finger or a shitload of board event funding because some parent might just be concerned enough to go out and find a lawyer. Like those tough pro bono types that hang out in my bar at night and stare at my... I think you know what I'm saying. That's it. His son was excused from school. According to rules, she had to take her son to a psychologist, and she's always late for work. She lied to the psychologist, only to be discovered by his son, and was eventually sent away by a psychologist. The poor woman looked very helpless. She even threw cigarette butts into her backpack, hurriedly emptied the contents of the bag. She looked up, 
it's that guy again, at this point she didn't know he was her own brother, Sam came to say goodbye to her, the elder sister spoke of the misfortune of the time, Sam felt more and more about the woman in front of him, she is really special. The kid's really lucky to have him. Bye Frankie. I mean, before it was okay, but now we should get a taco or something. Really? Or not. Never mind. No. Absolutely. That's it. Sister opened her heart completely. Sam learned that his sister had a hard time growing up. The indulgence of her youth left her with no idea who the father was. Sam became more and more curious about the woman's life. He asked his sister why she didn't change her job. But there's no job without a diploma. It was all his father's fault. She always wanted his father's attention when she was a kid, but the father has coolly abandoned them and chose another family. Sam deliberately asked her about another family, but his sister said, I hated them. They got him. Sam gave up going back to New York. Staying here is supposed to make up for all the years of his sister's misfortune. He took his sister and her son on a journey, eating crabs at the beach. In the process of getting along with Sam, her had a little crush on Sam. Sam called his girlfriend that night to share what happened to him during this time. And now, he was in distress. Actually, he is not on good terms with his father, and he has never treasured his father like his sister. Children of the same father, but it's very different. He's been running away from this family, but now, he's running from his sister again. Did you tell her everything you know? I don't know how. Sam. You're gonna hurt this woman, you realize that. And you gotta make it right. I gotta go. Sam delivered the $150,000 left by his father to the law office, filling the fridge for his sister. Do what he can. The sister received the lawyer's notice, but she didn't want to take the money, said Sam. You can use the money to buy a new house, let the child live better. You can retake the college degree yourself. His sister began to wonder what Sam was up to. A person who is not related. There is no reason, but be so nice to a single mother. Anyone can be suspicious. Sam was hesitant and afraid to confess his relationship. He changed the subject. You can leave the bar and be appreciated. You can be appreciated for who you are. The same goes for Josh. Okay, whoa. You think maybe you're not in the best position to be handing out parenting advice? Have you ever even taken care of a goldfish? Do you comprehend what it is to be responsible for another human being? You cart him around. You you stock my fridge. You're atoning for I, I don't know what. Because I enjoy hanging out with him. He's a good kid. You're going to go back to New York. And how's my kid going to deal with that? So I'm just asking you, what do you want here? You want me to tell you to stay? No, no. Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> I, I said it. I just, I, I would like you guys to be happy. That's it. That's all you want. I gotta go. His sister has begun to misunderstand himself. This is going on. Something's going to happen. 